I am going to talk about HTML layout with div elements. Before going to start, let's have a look what we are going to make at the end of this video. You can see we have a web page which has header, left sidebar, main content, right sidebar and footer portions. Actually I made this web page completely using div elements. So let's begin my code. Our div elements start with div and ends with slash div. So inside the div I will write id and give this division a name main and then I will have some styles. So I will write style background color ff0000 and I want to give a fixed width and height to my division so I will give a width of 700 pixel height of 600 pixel. Save the page or document. Go to the browser. Refresh the browser and now you can see you have a rectangular box or division which has nothing. So from now onward I will create another five division inside this division which I will call header, left sidebar, content, right sidebar and footer. So let's begin with our secondary divisions. I will create another division div and give it an id header. I will style it. Sorry. background color I'll give a width of 700 pixel to my header and height of 100 pixel and inside this division I'll write header because usually in the header position you write your website name I am going to write header and I forgot to close the division so I will write slash div save the document or HTML file go to the browser and refresh it and now you can see we have a header portion in our web page so in this way, if I create another division called left sidebar inside this main division, then we can get our left sidebar content portion, right sidebar and footer portion. So let's do it, but I'm not going to write the code again. So I'm going to copy the uh, header divisions code and paste it here. And I'm going to change it where it is necessary. So left sidebar, I'm going to change the ID and the background color to FFFF00. So we have a fixed width in our main division of 700 pixels. So now we have to decide that how much width we want to give to our sidebars and the content areas. I'm going to give my left sidebar 150 pixel and I'm going to do the same thing for my right sidebar. So I will give 400 pixel to my content area. And as you can see that our main division have a height of 600 pixel and we already gave our header 100 pixel and I am locating 100 pixel for my footer portion so we have only 400 pixel left for the left sidebar 
so I'm going to give 400 pixel height to my left sidebar and I will change the header text to left sidebar and another thing I will do here it is float left okay so sorry copy the same code for the content area and the right sidebar area and change where it is necessary content background full white width 400 pixel height 400 pixel ok float left and the text should be main content and the right sidebar area right sidebar background color is okay with 150 pixel okay height 400 pixel float left okay right sidebar and now here comes the code for our footer division so change the id to footer background color what should I do for this one okay 6698 SF and the footer width 700 pixel and the height is 100 pixel there is no need of this plot for footer section I'm going to delete it Here is the footer text. I think this is all about our HTML div elements tutorial. I'm going to save the document, HTML page, whatever you say. Refresh the browser, and now you can see we have a web page which has a header portion, left sidebar portion, main content, right sidebar, and footer area and I made this website completely using only div elements in HTML. That's all for this video. Thank you.